Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Gospel Countdown. I'm Nina Taylor. And I'm Bishop Ernest E. Richard Jr. And what you're about to experience is the very best in gospel music as we go through the top 20 countdown. Miss Nina Taylor, you look wonderful and as usual. So Thank happy you. to be here with you. How are things going with you? <laughs> Oh, everything is going great. Uh, we've gotten sort of a stable weather going on here in the Midwest. It hasn't been uh, near 100, but it's, it feels like just, just a good summer. So we're real happy about that. I understand. <laughs> and here on the East Coast, we're experiencing the mid to upper 80s, but we're not going to get into that uh -huh. because, you know, the weather, <laughs> just like this chart, changes all the time. <laughs> so how about if we just Absolutely. get right down to business? Welcome to those of you that are watching wherever you're seeing mm -hmm. us at. We just so appreciative of the fact that you took the time to be with us today. Now there's a bunch of shows you could be watching, but you want to know what's going on in the latest and greatest in gospel music. And that's why we're here. So without further ado, Miss Nina, let's take them through. All right, let's start off with number 20. Mm -hmm. Now, she she and I have something in common. Uh -huh. My maiden name is Reed, just right. like hers. Her name is Erica Reed, and her song is called Building. What are you waiting for? Yeah. Oh, no, what are you waiting on? Is what are you waiting on? She comes to us from uh, Missouri. You know, she's a small town girl, um, just new to the gospel industry. She's very young. I'm excited for her and happy that she has a song kicking off the countdown today at number 20. And just to add to what you just said, her uh, small town appearance has a big city sound. I got a chance to hear yes. the song in and of itself. <laughs> just, oh, wow. I'm expecting great things for her. And I, I know she's going to climb the charts. How high? We'll wait to see. Meanwhile, in the number 19 spot, he's actually up, just made it into the top 20 just this past week. Jordan Armstrong uh, with Erica Campbell. The song is entitled Call. This song is encouraging. I mean, just to listen to it. I'm, I'm excited for what's going on with Jordan and all that's happening in their life. And Erica Campbell, what else do we need to say about her? <laughs> Absolutely, Erica. You know, she has 20 jobs. Uh, she's raising a family. Yes. They're running a church. They're doing so much. I don't know how she's doing it, but you know how we women are. We, we can wear 12 different hats and have 10 different jobs. All right. So congratulations to her. Uh, number 18, Zach Williams and one accord, the song Jehovah Jireh. It is actually down a little bit. Last week, they were in the number 16 spot. So we'll see if they can make their way back up the countdown again they're at number 18 this week but it's a great song it like really that. is and i tell you i got a chance to see they posted a rehearsal in youtube uh and it was actually the pre-recording of the song and you know, Zach Williams, high energy, one accord, high energy. And I pray it don't become, quote unquote, Zach Williams, like six months from now. Because I'm <laughs> when I say that. <laughs> it's an inside joke, folks. But the truth of the matter is they're on their way to being a staple in the gospel industry. Meanwhile, in number 17, Jabari Johnson. His song, One Touch, you know, just doing what it does. And I believe yeah. he had a couple of uh, top 10 hits over the last few months. And this one is yeah. no different than his other works. I'm just looking for him to just make his way up. And he's one of those, and I'm going to use your phrase because I've heard you say this before. He's going to be a <laughs> slow climb, but he's going to get there. He is definitely going to get there. Definitely. So congratulations, Jabari Johnson. I'm wondering if he's still at the Potter's House. You know, he uh, the guitar player there at the Potter's House. I'm wondering with all the recording and he's doing this and doing that, if he's still going to be able to uh, do that. What well, do you think? And <laughs> what I've heard and seen in past experience, uh, you know, the Israel Houghtons, you know, J.J. Harrison, we can go on down the line. I believe that Bishop Jakes released him to do whatever it is that God called him to do. But at the same time, Absolutely. I believe he's he, he's one of those that's committed to ministry. Now, I'm not a musician, but if I were in his shoes, I'd want to be close to home because the fire is hotter at home always. 
Come on, let's just be real about <laughs> that. True. You know, you could be on the road for all 52 weeks, but when you, there's nothing. Yeah. You know that little saying we had back in the day, be it ever so, uh, where is that? There's no place like home. Yeah, be it ever so humble, there's no place like home. And if exactly. Jafari Johnson was effective at home as he is on the road, I believe he's still home. <laughs> all right, well, that's awesome. Number 16 is the Bishop Marvin Sapp. Yes. And I know we mentioned this before, but we want to mention it again, that they're making a biopic of his life. Yes. Amazing, isn't it? So I, I hope that there's going to be more gospel artists. You know, I'd love to see a biopic of Charlie Caesar. Yes. Uh, we've already had the Clark sisters. I think they kind of paved the way for other artists, you know, to be, to be, uh, noticed. Yeah. I mean they've already noticed, but I'd love to see a biopic of John P. Key. You remember yes. openly yes. about his past yes. history. I'd love to see a biopic about him, about commission, a lot of them. So I'm looking forward to that. This week he has the number 16 song. It's called All in His Hands. We're loving on it. That's right. Looking for this one. It is making a slow climb. This yes, is good. it is. So we're looking for this one to make its way to the top 10. My goodness. Congratulations, <laughs> Bishop Marvin Sapp, holding down the number 15 spot. A friend of mine, uh, haven't talked to him in a little while. As a matter of fact, the last conversation we had, I won't even try to remember that far back. We were at the Stellars when we had conversation. J.J. Harrison, the song is entitled Thankful, and I'm just excited for what God again is doing in this young man's life. Of course, you know now he's pastoring. Uh, he's not that far yeah. from me. Uh, we're both in Maryland, and we're probably about 15 minutes apart from each other. And, you know, God is doing some amazing things, elevating him and taking him in places he's never been. So, of course, he's always going to be in our prayers for where God is taking him because pastoring is no easy job. And then he's on the road as a musician or should I say as a uh, director and the leader of mm -hmm. the all powerful. Uh, and I know people say they see JJ Harrison now, but youthful praise is still there. They're in varied forms, but they are still there. So JJ, our love goes out to you. And like everybody else, our prayers go out to you. We look for even bigger and even better. And we look for him to crack the top 10 within the next two. Or three. <laughs> Let's wait and see what happens. Now, no, 14 is our girl. Yeah, I, oh, okay. Let me let you. You went into JJ. <laughs> <laughs> you see how you did? You went to JJ from Bishop. So I said, oh, okay, I must be doing Doe. All right, so I'll do Doe. 14 okay. is our girl Doe. Yes. When I pray, we debuted this one several months ago. Mm -hmm. It's actually been in the countdown only for a short while, only about 15 weeks. So this one, again, is also making a slow climb, which is good. We'll look for this one in the top five. Yes, I believe <laughs> she'll get there. Jokia, the song Let Him In at number 13. And uh, Jokia has, you know, I don't know if you get to listen to other stations, some of the major Internet stations. And when we hear her, Jokia, her sound to me is original. You know, that person that has that sound that's identifiable. This is mm -hmm. Jokia an identifiable sound. You know, when you okay. hear Richard Smallwood, you know him. When you hear John P. Key, you know him. When you hear Keith Wonderboy Johnson, you know him, <laughs> you know. But my yeah. point is, Jokia is in that mix. You can't miss her. Mm -hmm. Her contemporary sound stands out. But this is in my mind. So earnest one and one don't mean your salvation is based upon it. This is just what mm -hmm. I think personally. I want to make sure mm -hmm. folks know that. How about the number 12 spot? You know what I think about this. I'm going to let you talk about it. <laughs> you know, you have different people like an R&B that you compare um, artists to. So I was thinking about this. I'd say Brian Courtney Wilson is the Marvin Gaye yeah. of gospel music. You know, okay. Here's Wish You Definitely Know It's Him. And he's just so smooth yeah. and so just so great. <laughs> yeah. So definitely. It's like everything that he touches, you got to have. Silky. So our congratulations to him. 13 weeks in the countdown with this song. Um, it's an awesome one. Sure as, of course, everything he has, I have it too. Uh, it's number 12 this week. It's also making its way 
to the top 10. So we'll look for that one there. <laughs> All right. And just knocking at the door, he had something. And folks, I say this in jest. It doesn't mean this actually happened. He had a dog fight for the number 10 spot just last <laughs> week. And he may be down two spots, but coming back up. Lamont Sanders had a chance to even hear the song just before we started this podcast. And yeah, I, love I, I still love his song. He kept Cool, super yes. cool individual. I'm just sitting there. I was looking at if that's his CD cover, album cover, whatever you want to call it. Truth of the matter is just one super cool. And love the hat, by the way, Lamont. <laughs> I love the hat. But, you know, he's kind of a hip-hop guy, isn't yes, he? He's kind he of is. hip-hop. Well, you know, he's worked with Babyface. Yes. He's worked with Andre Harrell. Uh -huh. He's been in the music business a long time, so he's not new. Nope. Uh, he teamed up with Uncle Freddie, Fred Jerkins, mm -hmm. uh, Dark Child Gospel. So what do you expect? Uh, Nothing but the song on the, Yeah, the recent show that I did on up and coming new independent artists. And of course, he's on there. So this is a great song. And we're looking for more great things from Lamont Sanders. I think he's going to be around for I believe that. I believe that. And now, I, I, and again, I got to put another one of your famous quotes out there. This young lady is just doing, no, I'll let you say, what's she doing to us? What is she doing to us? Slow dragging us to heaven. <laughs> Love her to life. It's because she's the ballad queen, right? Yes. Yes. She's, yeah. reigning. she's actually, I call mm -hmm. her the reigning princess of gospel. That's my opinion again. I think of yeah. the reigning princess of gospel. Uh, you know, of course, we know Shirley Caesar is the queen, and what are we going to do? But I'm calling her the reigning princess of gospel because Tam LeMann has, in a short amount of time, since the early 90s, this sister has just really got it done. He Did It For Me is just another one of her multiple, soon to be, and actually this was number one for about at least a week, if I'm not mistaken. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks, okay. So, I mean, I would say safely in the last five years, she's had at least one number one song. So, you know, that that's a staple right there. To me, you get five, six number ones in the same, within a period. I got to put make a dynasty out of you. Not that we make <laughs> dynasties out of gospel music, but you know what to expect when you hear the name Tamla Mann. So we're looking for her to get back. She's just holding down number 10. I figure she's going to get back to the top five again because this song is just not going away. I'm going to tell you like that. For those of you that like tear jerkers, get some tissue when you're listening in those moments of loneliness and sit back <laughs> and hear this testimony from this great woman of God. I promise you, you're going to go through at least a quarter of a box of Kleenex just on the social alone. <laughs> I got a little story about Tamil, not about her specifically, but I get a call. You know, I get people because I talk about artists all the time, because I play them on the radio, I must know them all, right? Mm -hmm. So <laughs> till this pastor calls me from Virginia. Uh -huh. I'm not going to say his name, but he calls me and he's like, oh, oh, sis, how you doing? Oh, yeah, you know, we're loving your show down here. We hear your news all the time. Um, kind of favor to ask you. I said, well, you know, if I can, sure, I'd love to help. And he says, uh, do you have Sister Tamla Mann's phone number? I said, oh, wow. <laughs> I said, I don't. Uh -huh. I said, you know, what's up? I said, I can maybe find someone who can, I said, Are you all trying to bring her down there? You know, you wanted to come down there and minister? He said, oh, yeah. He said, I like her. And the way he said it, I said, okay. Pastor. I said, okay. <laughs> I said, I'm sure she'll be bringing Brother David, her husband, with her. So, uh, you know, calm down, right? <laughs> yeah, I hear you. <laughs> I thought it, he was like, "Oh, I'm so sorry." <laughs> I can hear David Mann now. Oh no, you did not <laughs> just make that pass at my wife. I'm coming to lay hands. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm sure it wasn't like that. I, just, I know. I was like, I'm messing. Okay. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it was. <laughs> well, let's pray it wasn't. Let's say that, you know. Exactly. So, man, we bless God. Uh, uh, congratulations to her. Yes. Uh, this song has been in the countdown for uh, quite a while. 27 weeks. That That's that's good staying power. Still uh, kicked off the countdown, the top 10 this week at number 10. So congratulations, Sister Tamala.
Uh, number nine, Todd Delaney and Smokey Norfolk. You know, I would be afraid to sing with Smokey Norfolk, wouldn't you? But <laughs> yes, but in another way, no, because Smokey makes you comfortable. But at the same time, Smokey wants your A game. And Todd Delaney, yeah. in this song, Satisfied, he brought his oh, A yeah. game. You know, I, I saw the video. I heard the uh, audio. And I mean, the yeah. combination, their uh, interaction with one another in the song, right on point. I mean, there's not, you know, you know how we in radio and TV talk about dead air. There's not a moment of dead air between the two of them. And it's a press forward to make you believe. They're literally, if they were, I'd say they're salesmen. They just sold you the car in the house of your dream. Just from absolutely satisfied. <laughs> Such a beautiful song. And his background, man, I'm just in love yes. with Todd Delaney's background. I mean, super sharp. It's like they know what he's going to do next. I love backgrounds yeah. that are that close. That means they have a fellowship one with another. See, most folk are looking at the artists and they're looking at the singing. I'm looking at the overall picture when I'm looking at this whole thing. And what I see with Todd Delaney and his group, and of course, Smokey in this particular song is nothing but camaraderie. There's unity. Mm -hmm. There's a bond there. And the message is crystal clear. And I don't know about you, Miss Nina, but I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. I love it, love it. Yeah. Um uh go ahead. With I'm getting ready eight. to go to it. I mean I'm gonna I know you saw it and I know I saw it. Yeah. This is your brother, your, your man, 100 grand in gospel music, of course, Joshua <laughs> Rogers, just as country with his tag as he can be, but just as powerful and eclectic and just very mm -hmm. forceful. He has a way of, he does something that I'm trying to describe and I don't have the word yet. I'll call you four o'clock in the morning to tell you what that word is when it comes. <laughs> But you know, his song's still going trust. I mean, yes. like he takes you through his valley experience, but then he takes you to the mountaintop when he makes the statement, I'm still going trust. He's telling me no matter yes. what I go through, no matter what I experience, no matter what hardships may come, I'm still, yes. I'm going to get country on this. I'm still going trust. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna keep the preacher's voice to myself because we don't want to get too much to get too crazy with it. But now, listen, uh, and now you know that number seven is a favorite of mine, and I got there's an amazing thing about this spot. So I'm gonna sit back and I'm gonna let you begin talking about it, and then I'm gonna take over. No, I'm not gonna do all that. <laughs> Uh, I know you know Fred from way back in the day, from his days of commitment. Yeah. Um, I came, I probably came into Freddom after <laughs> the whole commission thing. I didn't when I first knew who he was. I didn't know he used to be in commission. Yeah. You know, that's you know, it was like ninety seven. Okay. But I'm so happy to see him. You know, in the top ten. Uh, sometimes when an artist has been around a long time, you know, we start to take them for granted. You know. Yes. Oh, that's just. And, but we still love Fred Hammond. He comes to our town. Everybody's going to be here. Everybody. I mean, he is one of the few artists that packs out the house every single time. Amen. So, uh, congratulations to him with number seven. This one's on its way to the top five. It's called Hallelujah. And I yes, know he's it is. About it as well as us. <laughs> one small thing I've uh, noticed about Fred. I have him on my Instagram page. We're Instagram friends. Yeah. And Fred, when you send him a message, I so appreciate people like him. Him, there are others that do it on my page, but Fred, when you send him a message, will respond to you. And I'm going to say it like this. If it's a legitimate question, if it's a legitimate comment, you know, nonsense, he doesn't respond to. I've noticed that. So, you know, thank you again, Fred. If you are watching or any of your family members watching, please tell Fred that we love him. Thank you for who he is and for what he's done over the weeks, months, days, and years. Don't stop until the Lord says it's time to come home. And should God call you home before we get together again, I see you up there in that heavenly jam session. <laughs> All right. I hope that his uh he went live a few days ago yes. talking yes. about um 
plane being delayed or something, you know, exactly. this time of year, everybody's trying to get away. The flights are getting canceled and rescheduled. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know what that's like. I yeah. never want to go through anything like that ever Ooh. again. <laughs> yes. You know, get, you know, it was a good thing that I was still in my own city because there were people who had, you know, been stuck in the airport for up to 24 hours and were still waiting to get a flight to get to where they were going. Mm -hmm. I said, well, you know what? I'm going back home, get back in the bed, and I'll see y'all at 5 a.m. I am not sitting here all night. So I know what that can be like. It's very, very stressful. But uh, I hope he got, you know, to where he was going okay. So uh, he didn't give us an update. He just said, you know, he was staying calm (laughs) and just, are you Wait, getting mad doesn't change anything, does it? It really doesn't. <laughs> and see, that's it where doesn't. the character of God needs to be up front, up yes. close and personal, because it's in those times of adversity that people can see your maturity in Christ. And yeah, can, absolutely. Fred, see, Fred is a jokester, too, at the same time, because Fred likes a good mm-hmm. laugh like anybody else. <laughs> and when something ain't going right, I'm not going to pretend like I know him personally. I'm just showing this is observation. Yeah. When something ain't going yeah. right. Fred will start laughing about it, okay? I mean, depending <laughs> upon what it is in the story, right. some things he ain't laughing about, okay? Oh, yeah. It's now, a joke when you're stuck in some town you don't want to be in, right? Or one other, mess up yeah. his money. I mean, he oh, ain't, yeah. ain't going to get ugly. I'll bet. He will not be smiling about it either. Now, a number <laughs> six, and we talked about her just a little while ago, but she's yeah, she a She's a mainstay on her own. I mean, Erica Campbell, I mean, you know, still hanging in there, doing what she does best, Sunday best, uh, 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 judge, as many of you remember. And, of course, many of us do miss Mary Mary, but we did get the chance yes, to be, I don't want to call it a battle between Mary Mary and yeah. BC Winers, but they shared a stage and shared a moment mm-hmm. in music and the magic was still there. But Erica is. We hadn't heard a lot of those songs for years. Yes, right? yes. I used to play shackles with Mary Mary all the time, but with Erica, uh, all I need a little more Jesus. That became one of my favorite songs with her, but positive mm-hmm. is really growing on me right now. I mean, it's really starting to grow on me and, The more I hear it, the more I'm beginning to like it. You're listening to the Gospel Express with the lovely Nina Taylor and yours truly, Bishop Ernest E. Richard Jr. We thank you for tuning in. We are getting down to the final five. And as we go through them, uh, Nina, just very quickly, because we may forget to do this. How can we contact you if we just want to get a hold of you? (laughs) Well, it's real simple, and I've had over uh, 2,000 people that have gone to my website in the month of May, which I'm really excited about. I thank them all for uh, people who are still um, requesting songs for my Sunday show. But go to my website, and you'll find all our information there at msninataylor.com. That's msninataylor.com. I'm going to be there very soon, so don't you worry. You don't have to look for it, brother. I'll be on the same page. Nonetheless, here we go. Number five, a favorite of mine. Talk to me about Dr. Charles Jenkins in Fellowship Chicago. Oh, yes. Love it so much. You know, he's another one. And if you haven't noticed, everything he touches turns to gold. Yes. He's back with Fellowship Chicago. Uh, he probably liked this song from way back in the day. He said, you know what? I, I want to do something with that. So he gave Stephanie Mills a call and they did the song Never Knew Love. I really, really love what Fellowship Chicago did with the background vocals on this. They yes. did a beautiful job. And even when Stephanie Mills recorded this back in the day, the background vocals were incredible on this mm-hmm. song. So I'm glad that they were able to capture that that portion of it because that's what makes the song special, I think, is how they're carrying it, you know, in the background. So Congratulations to them. They're kicking off the top five this week with Never New Love. Amen. In the number four spot, (laughs) down from number one, 33 weeks on the chart, uh, this hip-hop duo here, another former, they were former members of the group Commission from back in the 80s. It's amazing. We got, I think, three or four members of Commission right here in this Darken and dark. When you said that, that's what I was thinking. Wow, we got a lot of commission. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, that's, that to me, that is yeah. the mark of a great group. 
when you can break up yes. and the individuals from the group. I mean, I'm thinking about the contributions that Marvin made, that Fred made, and what Dawkins and Dawkins has done. They have been writing. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. They've been writing since the early 80s, and they have written oh, yeah. quite a few groups, commission in particular, but other groups. Here they are doing their own thing. The song entitled Come By Here just takes a, a classic, or should we, I'll call it a Christian hymn, and they have just yeah. updated it, upgraded it, and the uh, generations X, Y, and Z can now relate to what the old school generations were able to relate to when you listen to this song. Congratulations, Dawkins and Dawkins. This may get back up in the number one spot. It's not. It's still in the top five. There's a possibility, yes. but we're going to have to wait and see because, I mean, the more people that hear it and the more spin, you know how this how this works, the more spins that are given and the more people request the song, the more the song has the ability to rise to the top. So congratulations again, Dawkins and Dawkins. All right. In the number three position, now this song just went flying up the charts. It did. Uh, James Fortune never let me down. Um, when we debuted this, we had no idea. It wasn't even in the top 40 when we debuted it. And then all of a sudden, it just put on some roller skates and went flying. <laughs> uh, he's only been in the countdown for 17 weeks. That is pretty much a short time, but a good time. 17 weeks. Um, he's at number three already, so wow. he's making his way towards number one. We'll probably get there in a few weeks. Yeah, and of course, in the number two spot, <laughs> holding it down for the second week in a row, uh, one yes. of the best choir directors you will ever meet from the time we met him at Absolutely. the Fest a few short years ago. Here he is now, yes. Dr. Ricky Dillard, all of my help. This song is just amazing to me, but anything Ricky Dillard does is amazing to me. You know, I'm still stuck on one more chance, and this is just adding more fuel to the fire. So if I got on my <laughs> shouting shoes and that song is playing, don't bother me. Just join me. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Number one, my girl. Oh, my goodness. I remember talking with her. Uh, doing my very first time speaking with her, uh, just such a lovely person. Now, you know, one of those people that when you talk to them, even on the phone, you yes. can just feel their lovely spirit and their personality just jumping all over you. I had such a good time speaking with her. And she was the very first artist that ever wow. prayed for everyone that was listening. Nobody has ever done that Amen. during an interview. So I really appreciated that. Uh, Sister Jacqueline Carr. Uh, she should be about what 25 now, no 25 years old or so. Yes, you know, she's had a long career since the age of well, she said 13. Her first hit at 15, she's recorded at 14. I mean, who does that? So she's got the number one song this week. It's the first time I heard it, I said, Well, that's her next number one song, My Portion. So, our congratulations to her. She is absolutely wonderful. <laughs> I tell you, I love the <laughs> Kaylin Carr and my dear, uh -huh. we are at the end of today's show. We thank you, the listening audience, the viewing audience for being with us. Remember, as my dear sister said, MSN Nina Taylor, visit her. Let us know what you think of the show. Let us know if you think mm -hmm. we can do something different. Till the next time, <laughs> I'm Bishop Ernest E. Richard Jr. And I'm Nina Taylor. Thanks so much for listening and join us on a station near you. Thank <laughs> you.